Hello, my friends, and welcome back to DOSBox version 0 0.74. Hi. Uh, welcome to, um, actually, welcome to Sub War 2050, if you couldn't see right there. Right there, you see that? Um, so you may be thinking, hey, Brian, uh, Sub War 2050 isn't a space game. What are you doing? Well, many people have actually requested I play this, uh, the latest being Alicia Rosewater. On YouTube, that's the actual one name I wrote down. So if you've requested this and I didn't write your name down, I apologize, but I wrote her name down. Um, I've actually been wanting to do this for a while because this is made by the same folks uh, who did the Independence War games, Particle Systems. But this came out many years before. This came out in 1994, and it might as well be a space fighter sim because it's basically just a it's Wing Commander underwater, kind of like Archimedean Dynasty is Privateer underwater. This is basically a space fighter sim, but underwater, which adds uh, many layers to it that um, that aren't in space games. So we are going to start from the very beginning. Uh, we're going to go through the training campaign and whatnot. And, we're, and I wanted to start a DOS box also because this thing uses the Roland. Ooh, it's very exciting. And so I wanted you to s witness that. Sub war, <laughs> sub war in its full glory. Here we go. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Taking a quick look at the um, keyboard commands here. I printed them out from GOG. That's what the game looks like. No! Yeah, kind of quick. Kind of a quick, uh... Kind of... But then it doesn't put you in the menu. It puts you in, um... In this, which is interesting. Like, it puts you right in the credits. Which I'm not entirely sure why. But hey, see, Michael Powell, Particle Systems... Same bloke who made Independence War 1 and 2. Check out this music, you guys. So 80s. Even though this is a 90s game, I feel like I'm watching Karate Kid or something. And this is both rolling units going. Oh yeah, FM Metal on the MT-32. Oh yeah. That's enough of that. <laughs> How awesome is that? Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. This is the GOG version, uh, by the way. Uh, but I'm not running it directly from GOG because the, every game comes with its own um, DOS box configuration. So it's really annoying to have to go into every DOSBox.comp file, C-O-N-F file, and enable my MIDI. So I use a separate program called DOSBox Game Launcher, which, by the way, is amazing and gives you actually very fine control uh, over how to set up your DOS box games, uh, you can select all kinds of crap. It's great. Uh, now, this is the complete version uh, on uh, GOG, so it comes with um, <clears throat> the base game and the expansion. Uh, so we're going to be doing the training campaign first, but you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven campaigns. So there's a lot of uh, missions here. We're going to start with training because I, I, I want to go through it, but I want you to go through it with me. Uh, so let's, uh, we already created a pilot. Already have a little cash. You're basically a mercenary uh, for hire and uh, you get money to do things. And um, you're uh, basically this is the near future where corporations rule the seas and under the seas. And you're part of a mercenary group uh, crap. No, I didn't want to do that. No. No. Where's my guy? Oh, no. I lost my guy. Oh, well, he didn't have much money anyway.
Well, I guess not. That's fine. I'll start a new guy. I only did some, uh, I only did some, uh, change all the faces. Men and women, which is kind of neat. That looks like it's mostly men. There's like one. Oh, there's a couple girls. There's a girl. Um, I think this guy looks the closest to me. Now let's do our mission briefing. So you get your textual briefing. You get your top-down map, which is, you know, we all the waypoints. You get a 3D map, actually, which is kind of neat because uh, that matters in this game. Uh, you know, being able to hide in valleys and go silent is very important in a game like this. So you have your 3D map. Uh, wait, there was another thing. Oh, no, that was it. Oh, no, that was it. Okay. And then you have your sub configuration screen. And we could select uh, from different subs. Well, we can't right now, but we can later. Uh, so this is this tornado sub. as tor torpedoes and rockets. Uh, torpedoes are great when you want to kind of sneak up and kind of have a target lock on and shoot from a distance, but like in the, in more close up, like fast paced combat, it's the rockets you want. Backspace. Okay. I think. There's a way to get some funky music about all this. Hang on a second. I thought there was a way to, because each campaign has like its own music. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Daniel Sun. <laughs> wax on, wax off. It so sounds like that. So yeah, the Sword and, Sword and Shield Society is the mercenary group you're going to be running with once you do the training. So let's uh, begin the mission. Now, uh, sadly, it didn't recognize my throttle, so I have to use the engine controls in the game. Or the keyboard controls, which is a little annoying. Um, okay. So there's an artificial horizon. And there is your my carrier right there. That's my carrier. We're gonna head to our first waypoint, which is 270, right there. See that little triangle right there? We're gonna Isn't that cool. There's actually uh, life signs. See biological right there. Uh, can we take for that? Yeah. And. Uh, let's see, wait a second. Tactical view. Inverse tactical view. Yeah, so there's kind of a whale right there. Isn't that neat? There's our sub right there. And there's a way to... One second. There's a way to... Pain maneuvering. So this game lets you maneuver like this if you want on a single pane or like kind of elite style like that. But we're just gonna do that. Alright. And we're gonna hit the throttle. And we're just gonna speed to maximum speed. Uh, see that little yellow bar that's filling up right there? That is our, uh, that's our, that's how loud we are, basically. And as you saw it fill up. You saw it fill up while, uh, while, uh, we were, uh, okay, there's.
But as you see, as we slow down, speed up, here, I'll show you. You kind of hear it too. But as we slow down, you see that bar goes away. We can't be heard right now. We're making no noise. Dead in the water. And because we have no, we're not, when we're using passive sonar, no one could hear us. But if we went to active sonar, now we're totally like, hey, there he is. But, you know, we don't have to worry about that. So let's uh, go to our next waypoint. Another biologic. Like, that must that was mind blowing back in 1994 when you scroll around the cockpit like that. Pretty mind blowing. Waypoint two. We're gonna go to waypoint three, which is oh, over here. And as you can also see, see the indicator, right there that kind of points you to where it is. The left and right, the, like the kind of left and right brackets right there. Now we're on course. And we'll go, we'll speed up a little bit. There's no reason to, we're not trying to hide from anything. Ooh. Go up a little bit. There we go. There are other ways to rise too. There are ballast tanks in the game. You could fill, oh boy, way up there. That's, uh, that grid is a thermal layer. Uh, so going above or below that would make make you more or less visible to other ships on that same that same layer. Oh yeah, see that lets you flood ballast tanks. Oh jeez. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> Hit the bottom a couple times because I wasn't paying attention to the clearance right there. Oh yeah, now we could lower ourselves a bit. So now you can So yeah, there are multiple ways to move up and down Mission accomplished I don't know why it's making that weird psh, psh, psh noise. It does that sometimes, the MIDI units. It's probably a result of, oh, I got some money. All right, so next mission. Travel to waypoint three and torpedo the two dummy targets. All right. Be able to select anything. All right. War, 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 war. All right. Let's see. Depth is what we want. Much. Let's, let's go. Some speed. Another biologic there. Yeah. 
You see, we can't even see the bottom right now because it's way beneath us. See the clearance right there? There's, there's waypoint one. Waypoint two is where? Hang on a second. Good. Yeah, so in this level mode, you can only stay here. Turn that off, and you can move all over the place. Roll. Wee! But this is good for, like, fine... For the ballast tanks a little bit. Alright, sweet. Waypoint. Flood the tanks. Dive a bit. Neat, huh? Yeah, this is that that is the kind of stuff you don't have to deal with when you're in a space sim. Oh, it's above us. Wow. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh. What? Max death exceeded? Oh, boy. What happened? Oh. Wonder if I'm damaged. Yeah, I guess I got. To, oh, this game does not mess around. I must have got damaged. Oh, I might not even be able to do my thing. Yeah, see, now I can't target those mines anymore. That'd be funny. Yeah, I definitely got damaged. There's one. This is going to be fun. All right, let's head to waypoint four. Going to lower ourselves. Not sure what's going to happen. there as quickly as we can. folks I was not expecting that here we go active <laughs> yeah the enterprise that is your uh... I guess I got damaged by something I got damaged by that mine the 
gonna there's a handy accelerate time option here go. I guess I could have just hit the next waypoint, but damn it, I wanted to do it right. Whoa, 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 Yeah, I'm not getting near those now. I guess I got hit. There were three of them, and I guess I got hit by one. Whoops! Sorry, did not make you. Did not mean to make you watch. All right, let's go to waypoint. Let's go to waypoint three. No damage this time. And, and yeah, when you blow the tanks, you have to like, you can't just start and stop at whatever, um, Whatever depth you're thinking of. Whoop. Whoa, hey. Oh gosh. Go the tank. Yay! All right. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm sorry. Come on, man. What's the next mission? Locate okay, the robot drone sub. Right as quickly as possible, then return to the carrier.
put a little tearing there. Waypoint two. Now we cross the upper thermal layer. As you can see, the waypoint is beneath us. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get about a click from the waypoint. Blow the hell down, and then just drop ballast. See if we can find the uh, find the drone. Now there is an arcade mode. There is an arcade mode where you could uh, detect any enemy within a kilometer. More time. Huh. A little closer in here with some rockets. Oh, that was nice. Did you see the whole, uh, oh boy, uh, see the whole, uh, screen shake there? Feel the sound of the, uh, exploding. That was pretty cool, actually.
Dude, I just flew through the waypoint. I just... Right there. It's right... I'm right... It's right there. Right there. There we go. Jeez. Uh, Alright. Uh. See, right now I don't care about being heard because... This is a training mission. Thirty five hundred, huh? All right. Yay. That was fun. Right? All right, let's see how many more training missions are. Come on, stop doing that. Oh, interesting. Money, 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 money. Locate three robot drone, drone subs. Okay, here we go. Finicky. Also, yeah, the noise you make makes the, um, the enemies. Oh, shit. There's one. They're the other two. Let's see him. See him right there. There they are. I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit the. Um, I don't want to hit the. Uh, I don't want to hit the uh, the bottom. They are. the the uh, the explosion effects really nice all right yeah, this game had a lot going for it, and it's it's odd that um, there aren't more games like this. 
By the way, if this seems like a longer session, it's because it is. I'm trying to do all the training in one session. Just get it out of the way. Honestly, do not know how many more uh, training sessions there are. Can't imagine there are many more. Probably one that deals with stealth or something. See, now it's not doing it. That little popping noise, I don't understand. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, more money for me. Dive deep. I guess we're gonna be uh, taking a, they have, um, they have, yeah, deep diving subs like this one, which, is less of a fighter and more of like uh, a kind of a deep explorer. So this one is not going to move anywhere near as as uh, as um, limbly, limberly, limberly. This one is not going to be anywhere near as maneuverable. Nor as fast, apparently. When Sims used to include stuff like this, the uh, good old, good old accelerated time nugget. Hello, waypoint. Next waypoint. Look at that. Is that a shadow? I think it's a shadow, which is crazy. Yeah, we're still too far out. There he is. Thing also holds more torpedoes. Dropping chat. Oh, 
gosh. Digging. Huh. Can only target the decoy. This thing's taking either. I'm missing every time. I'm gonna run out of torpedoes at this rate. Oh! Did it hit me? Oh man! Yeah, see, I'm not very good at this game either. It is damaged. I'm going to have to restart this mission. Oh, okay. Wow, fine. Jesus. Okay. Well, that's kind of what I did. Try this again. Let's try this again. Yeah, see, I'm not used to playing like this, so I am not good at this game at all. Oh, wrong one. map. We're going to go in slow. I want to be able to hear this fucker before he
do. Okay, well, that's one thing you learn about this game. Go in slow and quiet. Which, again, doesn't matter in space games. So, you really, to play this, really have to change your level of thinking. Because, you know, with a space game, it's like, whatever, just gonna fly in and shoot stuff. I mean, yeah, there are some stealth games here and there, like Star Crusader. But that's even, that's more on, like, visual stealth. Um, this is actual auditory stealth. Because right now, I don't know if... Oh, I didn't explain this, I guess. Um, I'm not looking out a window right now. That's uh, because, you know, there would really be nothing to see because it's too dark down here. Basically, this is like a 3D, 3D um, rendered view of where I am in the ocean. So it uses uh, sensor, it uses sonar data uh, to uh, oh the waypoint above the thermal layer. No, it's very close to it though. All right. All right, I guess I can't move the stick. Time is accelerated. Unless it turns off like that. Fine. Makes sense. Ugh, I wonder how many more missions there are. my uh, carrier yeah 1994 these graphics are really impressive they're like full 3d and or 3d acceleration that is no mean I mean feet no. yeah no popping this time I don't understand why it does it or doesn't do it That took a lot of torpedoes. The necessary standard. Now I'm gonna join a karate tournament. <laughs> wow. This music, you guys. Bow, bow, bow. Got a medal. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So, uh, this will be what we do next. Babbage. <laughs> Right in the middle of an area that the Canadian U.S. federal government had licensed to Westingford PLC. Shouldn't put white on white, you guys. Ah, failed. Oh my God, so much reading. Babbage hit back. A terrorist attack destroyed. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Beheaded in his office by a lone psychotic. What? 
contract is with Westingford at full war rates and for the duration of the dispute. Oh, there's the popping again. Now it's coming through. Coming through both. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's where we're going to start next time. And the neat thing is you can do any of these campaigns in any order you want. But, um... I'm going to go in the order they're listed. Um, so, yeah, we're going to start the next session with the North Atlantic campaign. So we will see. Thanks for dealing with this uh, slightly extra long episode. I just wanted to get all the training out there in one episode to uh, finish that up. And so you guys could see just how detailed this game is. These guys at Particle Systems, they do not mess around. I'm trying to get them on the podcast, but they are hard to, to track down. Um so thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you for the next entry in the North Atlantic. Bye.